Welcome back. Some Georgia food truck owners worry about the high cost of fees and permits they need to operate statewide. Currently, vendors must pay for permits for every county they set up in. And that's a problem for food truck owners who travel to festivals and other events all around the state. Governor Camp recently signed a bill that will allow a single permit for operation no matter where they go. Kalisha Moore explains why many food truck owners were hungry for change. A trade group estimates that America's food truck industry brings in more than a billion dollars a year. But truck owners say it costs money to make money. You know, some, some cities they ask for uh, 1500 1800 just to be in one day. And, you know, uh, 1800 which is it's a kind of high price. Martha Ubale and her husband Martin Barajas own and operate Cuban Island Cafe. They say depending on the event and the percentage they must pay in fees, they have to adjust prices. That's another cost for us. So, you know, sometimes that's why we, we raise the price a little bit more so we can make up to be on, on that event. Food truck owners often spend thousands on permits. In addition to their business license, the Georgia Department of Public Health requires a health permit plus a separate inspection for each county. So it's not that the fees will go away, but now you have one permit and that will give you the ability to operate statewide. Tony Harrison, board president of the Food Truck Association of Georgia, says the new law helps food truck owners and eases the burden of the health department. To go out and inspect a food truck that in some cases has already been inspected 10, 20 different times in the same year, again, it makes no sense and it's not fair to the health departments. He says after lobbying for the change for years, the food truck community is happy to see the change. It's a huge win for our industry. We're excited. We see the health department, we're getting feedback from inspectors. Uh, and the departments, you know, saying it's the right thing and that, you know, it's going to relieve some of the burden on them as well. In Warner Robins, Kalisha Moore, 13 WMAZ News. That law will go into effect in January of 2023.